We're full service. We're a band from Austin, Texas. We tour the country on stages big and small. As you can see, we love performing. But we also love beer. So we found a way to combine these two passions. This is the story of our nationwide tour of breweries. First we perform, then we taste test. The full service hopping along tour. Join us. All right, we're here at Hangar 24 Brewery in Redlands, California. This is the first stop on the West Coast Hopping Along Tour. We're full service, and uh, we're here with Chad. And you brought us a really sweet looking flight here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're yep. going to do a little feature on one of these, but just want to talk about what the four different featured beers are. I put our flagship beer first, which is our orange wheat. It's an American wheat ale. Second is our Oktoberfest Fall Lager. And third is our Sierra Grounds Coffee Milk Stout. And last but not least, I brought the Betty IPA. So of these four, which one is your personal favorite? Uh, my personal favorite is out of these four, it's gonna be our Oktoberfest. It's really, tr uh, really true to the Ryan Heitz, Ryan Heitz Gebot. I don't, probably didn't say it right, but the German Fury Law on how to brew lagers. Ryan Heitzkabach. Okay. I think that's how you say it. Ryan Heitzkabach. Ryan Heitzkabach. Ryan Heitzkabach. Let's all try to say yeah. it. You go. Ryan Heitzkabach. Ryan Heitzkabach. Ryan Heitzkabach. Ryan Heitzkabach. Ryan Heitzkabach. Hey, we're going to challenge. Yeah, he won. He's good. Uh, what are the four ingredients that uh, are required? Malt, hops, yeast, and water. If, if you were going to assign an agreement to, or an ingredient to each one of us, which one would we be? Definitely the. Uh, the hops right here. Yes! Oh, oh yeah! Oh, yeah! I'm gonna go with, uh, don't say yeast. <laughs> yeast. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, and I'd probably have to pick malt and All right. water. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 Ooh, that's really nice. It's definitely got like the distinct longer taste. Oh, yep. yep. And yep. kind of, you can get the uh, kind of ambery malts that are in there too, so it's not mm -hmm. anything that's got a whole lot of weight on the tongue. But it's, it's nice, I could see myself drinking way too many of these in an afternoon. Coffee, coffee. Look at the color of that thing. What's that word where you can't see through stuff? Opaque. It's, opaque. It's brewed with uh, coffee from Augie's, which is a, they're right here in Redlands. All right, let's move on to the featured beer here. We have our four categories that's borrowed from Beer Advocate with our own twist. Uh, so it's look, smell, strength, and feel. Well, let's start with the look. We're talking about the look of this uh, orange wheat that we've got here. It's definitely cloudy, as your wheat beers are going to be. Uh, you can see kind of the orange, uh, or a lighter orange color, a yellow orange to it, for sure. It looks almost like an orange Light juice. straw, maybe a light straw to like a light gold, yeah, gold color. Definitely, yeah, definitely, which is pretty much exactly what you'd expect from yep. something. Yep. A wheat beer with that little tinge of little red color on the spectrum. Well, moving on uh, to strength. I didn't have a huge reaction to it. Uh, to me, it feels relatively light. We're talking on the spectrum of heavy metal bands from like, let's say Slaughter is pretty light to uh, you know Slayer is pretty heavy. I'm gonna put this more on like the Slaughter Poison side of, of, mm. of uh, yeah, some more more hair metal. Yeah, yeah, it's more hair You're metal. Some, okay. some radio uh, friendly uh, hits. Sure. What's the ABV on this? <laughs> the ABV on our orange wheat is 4.6%. Uh, okay, so definitely one of the lower. Yes. Alright, moving on to feel. First of all, not only do I taste the orange, but I feel the orange. <laughs> and uh, what I feel is the peel. <laughs> what I feel is the peel, and it's it's got sort of an effervescent feel. It's sort of it's a little bit um, active, fizzy, uh, but it's also sort of so it, it, it's equal parts rind exterior and rind interior it has the sort of softness of the interior that that uh that almost sort of, like almost kind of fluffy right yeah the carbonation is a little fluffy yeah but we're doing smell we're now. doing smell
It smells um, like a lighter beer. But you've already seen it though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. I'm talking about the smell here. I don't get tons of orange in the in the smell. Maybe more wheat. What do you smell? Well, it could be it could be that you don't smell the orange because I drank a lot. Most. Of yeah. <laughs> Maybe next time I should get the beer before everybody drinks it all. I don't know what it is. It's like a it's a lighter smell even. Like it's not as thick as the hoppy. It is a rascally beer in terms of smell. I'm not sure. Yeah. Wait, it smells like yeast over here. <laughs> I think what I'm picking up is yeast. Yeah. <laughs> Our last feature here is we all just do a rapid fire. What does this beer, what full service song does this beer remind us of? Uh, so for you fans at home who are familiar with full service music, I'm going to give you a little something to uh, reference here. So, Webb, what full service song does this beer? Just because I'm caught up in the smell right now, uh, I'm going to go with Apples by Full Service. Mm. Now i got to think of a new song! <laughs> who eats my apples? Mine, for some reason, is Anytime I Need It from our new record. It's got a light feel, it just kind of mm -hmm. moves quick. Just, I don't know. Whoa, you guys are on the same page? We're on no. the same page? Well, similarly, team. I would use the same words to describe this song on the beer. It would be a Huge Grey Blue. Because it just kind of sits on top and kind of skips along, and it, uh, you just you just feel it kind of bubbling the whole entire time, and then before you know it, it's gone. <laughs> you chugged it, <laughs> oh, man. Well, Chad, thanks for taking time to do this with us and uh, for having us here to play in Hangar 24, man. Yeah, we're excited yeah, to play. Thanks a lot. We're excited to have you here. Yeah, yeah. thanks a lot. Yeah, right thanks on. great. Yeah. Yep. Looking forward to the show. Beer tender, Chad. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, Hangar 24, Redlands, right. California. Bye-bye. You better subscribe to that full service YouTube channel or I'm gonna come get you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. That was great. Perfect. <laughs> Wicked. Thanks, man. <laughs>